Hey everybody, welcome back. If you watched my video, thanks for coming back to check out my second one. If you haven't checked out my first one yet, go ahead and go back to my YouTube channel and check out my first video that basically goes over what Chat Fuel is. I'm not going to go into depth too much about Chat Fuel. I'm going to be going more into depth about the creation of Chat Fuel, the how to create the campaigns in Chat Fuel. Uh, once again, Chat Fuel is a fuel uh, free service. Wow, fuel service! A free service that allows you to create a Facebook bot that can be used for multiple things. Uh, whether it's uh, used in your Facebook ads, uh, it could be used on um, you know marketing stuff, blog posts, all types of different things to where you can interact with customers. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, sign in. All right, so once you're here, you got, you know, if you want to start out from a template, you got your templates across the board here. You got view all templates as well. So if you want to do, you know, one of these, you definitely can. If you don't want to and you want to create from blank, you can do that as well. So you go create from blank. I already kind of started one, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this one. This is blank bot. Okay, so now over here you got your bot structure, right? So you got your building blocks, and then you got each block as you create a group, they call them. So what I have here is I have my welcome bot. So, hey, thanks for saying, show me more on my ad. I'm happy you are interested in what I have to say. My question for you is what do you do for a living? You know, do you do one of these four things? Online marketing, e-commerce, or small business or other? So now what this is here, what I am planning on doing with this is I am planning on creating some paid ads on Facebook, targeting certain niche markets. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask them to comment in the ad. Now, once they comment in the ad of show me more, the AI or the bot is going to understand that and they're going to send them this welcome message. Now, the welcome message We'll have these three links here. Now, these three links, you can have it do multiple things. You can have it link to um, offline, like off of the, uh, you know, off of Facebook onto a website. You can have it do a bunch of different things. Now, what I have it doing is I have it linking to blocks. These are blocks, okay? So now, when you go and you create a block, you can create information inside the block. So, for example, that first one was online marketing. So when they click it, it will say, "Boom! Hey, I see you are." You know, interested in online marketing? Did you know that Facebook bots are becoming a huge part of online marketing? This helps drive targeted traffic to your opt-in pages, so you have very engaged customers. And I'm gonna, oops, I don't want to do quick reply. I want to do delete that. I want to do typing though, and then I want to move it up. So basically, what this is gonna do is once. Actually, no, I don't even need to do that because they're gonna be seeing this. They'll see this first then, okay. So yeah, so basically what you're gonna do is boom, you're gonna have this. Then what you can do is you can create a button. And then, so, you know, uh, from here, you can have it go to a URL, block or whatever. If you wanna add some more stuff here, you can have it go to a block right off there. Sorry about the dog in the background. I'm actually recording this outside. So um, it you know, goes the block, lets you redirect users to a random or specific block depending on the user attributes when entering the block within this plugin. So then you can do a redirect to a different block. Uh, block. So if you have a different block over here, you can redirect it straight to there. Um, you can do quick replies. Enter the button name add quick reply uh, I mean there's just so much stuff that you could do with these um, if you want to add a list you add a list URL add button you know all types of crazy stuff but so basically that's the one I had created for that just so you can kind of see what it's like now the second one was e-commerce so I set up the e-commerce block so now once the person Type or presses the e-commerce, it's going to show that I'm typing to them. And then after it shows that I'm typing, it's going to post this image that I had posted in here. So what I did is I took image, clicked image, and then I just added an image. You can do whatever you want here. You can do a gallery of images. You can keep doing text if you want. 
if you want to go and do plugins with subscriptions, you can do subscriptions list, you can do most used, uh, live chat audio. If you want to post video, you can post video. Uh, I mean, there's all types of different things you can do here, which is really awesome just because of the fact that, you know, it makes it so easy to just add more add more stuff in there and then um, the last one I did was small business so small business you can I just did this small business can grow their audience using chatbots if you want to take a look uh, more into this check out this awesome link and I put a link so now if we go back here and we want to test the bot so to test the bot first it has to be connected to a group so I connected it to my NFL ticket club group which was just a group that I had created. So now if we want to view we want to go ahead and view it on Messenger. So basically after the person goes and um, says show me more in the ad, you then get this pop up in your messenger. And then I'll say, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm interested in online um, uh, yes, I'm interested in online marketing. So boom, online marketing. Okay, so it shows that I was typing, and then, hey, I see you're interested in online marketing, blah, 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 blah. Okay, e-commerce. Now, yep, it's showing I'm typing, and oh, and how to get serious results. Okay, cool. And then, small business. So it's showing I'm typing again, and boom. And then it's got the link on there. You can send them to wherever you want. So what I think would work best with this uh, is you create ads, you drive the ads to your bot. You create a sequence of comments or questions to basically qualify your consumer or your buyer. At that point, once they've got to a certain end of your uh, verification through questions or a series of answers, whatever you want to do, at that point, you can then turn around and then send them to your uh opt-in page at your opt-in page boom because they're already interacted they're very well engaged they're very interested in your product you send them to the opt-in page they're going to be more willing to give you that email address for future email campaigns drive them to your bait product which was your free uh ebook or your free service or whatever you're giving away that's trying to drive them uh to that and then from there once you give them that free that free product you can then go from the free product and then if you want to try to upsell them to some paid subscriptions you could do so as well but that is pretty much it when it comes to creating this now there's no right or wrong way of creating your campaigns um, it, it's all basically on you um, you can try stuff out and see what happens if you get people going to your ads uh, your chat your chat bots and not really interested in not doing any of this you can try to change this up and drive them somewhere else uh, you know try different wordings stuff like that now another thing you can do here so there's a couple different things you can do one I think it's setting up the AI yeah so basically you could have in the AI group so if somebody is, makes a comment inside your thing you can actually set it up to where if they say show me more it sends them to the welcome page uh, if you can say uh, you know I want your product or something like that it'll send them straight to text you know it'll send them straight text like hey yeah this is what you know okay yeah great I'm happy you want my product blah 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 or send them to a block but the one that I would say to really look into it's the grow version or the grow section of uh, chat fuel so you got a couple different things here one you got submit your bot to the message discover or messenger discovery section, which is kind of cool because there's actually a section on Facebook that allows you to place your bot there. So people are searching for something, they can find your bot. Excuse me. Um, they can find your bot there and be able to uh, interact with your bot right off that. Now there is a fee to that. I believe it's a hundred dollars a year. It's a one-time fee per twelve months, but you can go and do that. Um, acquire users from comments, best way to convert users from a Facebook page or an ad to your bot. This function enables your bot to send automatic private messages to users who comment on a post on the page. You can do that too. So if people come in and they make a comment on your page or you do a boost post and people make a comment, you can add a rule there. 
or you can come down here and you can see there's a kind of a complete guide but learn how to set up Facebook newsfeed ad so you click this and it's got a really nice section here that goes two ways of setting up Facebook ad to lead paid traffic to your chat button. and then you can go through here and you can see how you can set it up which is actually really easy um, you know just kind of go through take a look at all the different stuff here it's it's actually a pretty awesome deal so you know uh, you create the template do all the buttons stuff like that but uh, nothing really too hard uh, but yeah I mean if you want to go ahead and take a look at that make sure you go you log in you have to have Facebook gosh I'm sorry I'm doing this stream early in the morning um, but yeah you gotta uh, you gotta have Facebook and then you you know you log in through your Facebook uh, and do everything through there, but I mean it's really easy, but you just got to play with it It's just like uh, creating a, a good email campaign same concept You know you got to just kind of play with it and see how people react if people don't react or you notice that They're not opening at certain sections then you got to go and you got to change those sections But you also do have an analyze so as you get more people you can see the analytics of it uh, to see you know what people are doing how people are reacting stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my video um, I apologize for my yawning. It's super early in the morning. I been uh, I actually work another job full time as well, so I'm either working that or I'm doing this, trying to help you guys and uh, you know grow as I'm growing my email marketing as well. So if you guys got any questions, feel free to post comments in the video. Uh, I hope that you guys share it. If you guys are liking my videos, I hope that you guys subscribe. Uh, every week I'm going to try to put out another video. I might try to put out a couple videos every week if I can, if i got time. If not, I want to try to put out another video every week, kind of going over some different tools that can help you grow your business, both online marketing, um, e-commerce, as well as uh, you know for small business owners that are looking to gain an online presence. Uh, probably next week I'm going to go over... Uh, some different things with uh, Facebook. Uh, if not, I might even go over some stuff with ClickFunnels, which is the uh, landing page software program that I use also with my bots. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, thank you guys again for checking out this video, and I hope this helped you. Thank you.